Hello, I am Seamus Dunahoo of Eve University, and this is a video of the mass test on the Singularity test server. Today is Friday, May the 11th, 2018. Uh, I just started up the client uh, because uh, reasons relating to recording and making sure I can capture game sound. So basically, what CCP has asked a whole bunch of players to do, and it looks like there's 224 players in um, FD, TAC, MLJ right now. Uh, well, 224 characters, some of them are CCP. What CCP is asking for is f when they give the signal, uh, we're going to undock and try to run as many abyssal dead spaces as possible. I'll probably be cutting out some of the waiting here. Thank you, CCP Carker. Please undock from your, your cruiser with an abyss filament. Uh, the best places to activate the filament will be planet, moon, or asteroid belt. Please refrain from PvP when activating or coming back from the abyss. Planet, moon, or asteroid belt. Okie dokie. So, my hit just to review, rigs, uh, this is the most shield tanked, this is shield tanked, uh, rigs are anti-thermal, anti-explosive, I've also got a capacitor control circuit to reduce the capacitor recharge time. My slots are auto cannons. I will probably be using hail most of the time to deal with the battleships. Frigates, I will use a smart bomb to smack them around. Uh, I've also got, um, warrior drones. Uh, low slot, stereo stabilizers, a tracking enhancer, cap power relay, a damage control mid slot, micro warp drive, EM ward field to plug the EM hole. Don't have enough mid slots for an explosive hardener, given that I'm going to a gamma filament. Uh, stasis web and medium shield booster. Let's do this. Uh, hold on. Yes, please activate your filaments and go to the abyss. Good. All right. There it goes. Cruiser. That's a new one on me. I've seen f a squad of frigates. I've seen... There you go. Oh, that's not good. All right, I need to start webbing them. Right, that's not gonna work. Yeah, it's going at 1,500. All right. Um, hopefully that's just a fluke. Let's hope 
uh, I get luckier with the draws because I know I didn't have any time to plan ahead for what to do with a Vedmac. All the previous two days that I've been doing this in Singularity was either frigates or battleships, so I don't have a plan for this. And the mass test only lasts an hour. All right, uh, let's try this again. Alright, that I have a plan for. Alright, uh, I vaguely remember a FanFest presentation saying this fisheye effect was intended. I can't entirely be sure, sometimes memory plays tricks on me. But, uh, yeah, this is not good. CCP, please do not do this. Yeah, that works. There we go. Yep, time dilation. So the game's only simulating at 72% of actual speed. Of real time speed, rather. Try the smart bomb here. Which should include uranium, just in case.
Yeah, I don't like how well the smart bomb's working. I probably would need more of them for this to work. It softened him up a bit. There's nothing in the wreck, might as well move to the conduit. Oh, they're attacking the warriors. I didn't even notice. Busy watching my own shield bar. I didn't notice the shield bars on my drones. I happened to notice that that particular rat was moving very slowly. It must have bumped into something. pocket. Really hoping it's a battleship because I'm only down to three drones.
All right, I'm almost out of capacitor energy. Had plenty of extra time, about 12 minutes. I should have taken the time to patch up. Right then, that did not work. So yeah, it looks like they made this a lot harder since yesterday. Thank you all very much. We will continue to monitor until 1900, possibly later. It's up to you how long you wish to continue for. All right. So given what I've seen in the mass test today, um, CCP is still changing up uh, what, uh, what the NPCs are doing. Uh, so this is probably not going to be a viable fit. I would have to take a lot of time to figure out um, what different fit to use instead. But in the meantime, I'm going to end the recording here. All right, I'm going to try a different tack here. Warp drive active. So this time it will be an armor tank vexer. I'm going to use a reactive armor hardener and an energized adaptive nanomembrane. Uh, mostly drone-based, drone damage amplifier, uh, omnidirectional tracking link with a tracking speed script, still have a stasis web, uh, damage control, cap recharger, micro warp drive, armor repairer, and heavy electron blasters fit with fed navy antimatter. Alright, let's try the comm gamma again. Watching my drones shield bars this time. Oh, that works a lot better. be able to hit them within five kilometers. What's my tracking speed again? 57.6. They're going much faster than that. Active armor hardener thinks of being smacked with kinetic. You know, this is a gamma filament. Why are the, the, the kinetic weeks in here?
And they're shooting the drills again. That's the first one. And yeah, the reactive armor hardener seems to think I was getting hit with kinetic there. Not what I expected for a gamma filament, which is supposed to be explosive weak. shifting. Explosive and thermal. All right, then. I'll have to prep for explosive and thermal whenever I deal with those. <clears throat> Alright, here's my experiment. I'm going to try a calm electrical this time. Weak to EM, but uh, bonuses to capacitor recharge time. Given that uh, the Triglavian battleships always do thermal explosive damage, trying to run the explosive sites is probably not a good idea. Uh, I've also got thermal explosive hardeners this time. I'm just going to let the EM slip. Uh, betting on uh, I'm not going to take a whole lot of EM damage anyway. Uh, drones are Amarian. So let's see how this goes.
kept stable with everything running. Whoops, one of the acolytes is getting shot at. Nothing in this wreck. Moving on. Sending the drones to work. I don't actually expect the blasters to hit under these conditions. I'm starting to shoot the acolytes now. empty. Alright, let's see what I get for the last pocket. Uh, it looks like I got lucky this time. No battleships of any kind.
seven zero point condate C. And out in eight minutes. Now, granted, I got lucky on that one. Uh, just frigates. But I need to do another test of this. Let me go get another filament. All right. Let's try this again. I've got another calm electrical filament. Same setup. Uh, I need to know if this is going to work against the battleships at all. I think I need to overheat. Stop overheat. Well, at least it worked. Oh, he moved out of range. At least it worked, but it took some heat damage to do it. And the cache is empty. I'm really hoping CCP is going to remember to put rewards in these things when this goes live. And I should have brought Nanite Repair Pace with me.
And moving on to the next, to the final pocket. Good. I don't have to deal with more Triglavian battleships. I'm beginning to wonder if I should just drop the blasters and put four smart bombs on here. It's not like I actually use the blasters against the Triglavian battleships. Alright, uh, I'm going to do one more run, uh, this time replacing the blasters with smart bombs. Warp drive and of course active. I have, can't use the drones while I'm doing that, but run for the day with the Vexor. Uh, just to review the fit, three medium capacitor control circuits, two medium smart bombs. I don't have enough CPU for more, and I don't want to put on CPU increasing rigs or modules. Um, micro warp drive, cap recharger, stasis web, omnidirectional tracking link, armor repairer, thermal link, explosive hardeners, drone damage amplifier, a damage control, and I am still using uh, Alarian drones. Um, 
let's do this. I wasn't really doing anything with the blasters. I've also got plenty of nanite repair paste. In retrospect, I probably should only bring 200 instead of 20,000, but nah, it's a test server, so. Right then. Jones had the right idea. I'll go that way. Time to start overheating. Let me send the combined arms group. Oh, I have to stop overheating. I can't keep this up. And it's burned out. And for some reason, I'm having a lot of trouble closing the dis uh, spiraling in on these guys. I mean, I'm just not used to spiraling in general. Alright, I'm going to abort this one. And try this again. I'm going to patch up and try this again. Fourth and hopefully final attempt at this. I'm going to let the drones work on the frigates first. Right. 
some of them are in smart bomb range. To look in here. Me need to look into faction smart bombs here, and I'm gonna have to overheat again. Right, enough of the smart bombs. Yeah, so only sometimes are those things within, um... Move drone damaged. Only sometimes are they within, um, four kilometers. So for smart bombs to be reliable, they're gonna have to be faction medium smart bombs. to repair, which I think I have time for. I've got 16 minutes left. All right, there we go. Moving on. Just going in steep. I'm not expecting to actually spiral in effectively. There, webs. for the heavier drones and stop overheating. He's moving at 124 meters per second, so without a web, he's, that battleship's going to go 300, which is faster than what I can do without the micro-warp drive.
that takes care of the battleship. to the last pocket. And I just realized I forgot to repair anything. No, no spiral. Deep in. Keep an eye on the heat levels. Cut the micro warp drive. Stop overheat. Get the web going. Ah, I bumped on the gate. the micro warp drive establish the orbit command all right get the webs on him get the other drones out That's not a web. All right, send out the drones again. I should have this under control. Oh, finally. A plan that remotely resembles actually working. So yeah, if you're gonna try smart bombs, it's gonna have to be the faction mediums. The ones that can actually reach out to six kilometers. And this is doable with the Tech 1 cruiser using uh, Tech 1 rigs and Tech 2 modules and Tech 2 drones, as you can see, but it's very, very tricky. And this is the calm. This is the lowest of the five tiers. But anyway, uh... This is on the Singularity test server. The mass test probably ended about an hour ago or such. Uh, today is Friday, May the 11th, 2018. I'm Seamus Donahue of Eve University. Thank you for watching.